555. If you see this, your dreams are becoming reality. A surge of happiness and prosperity is about to flood your life. 666. If this catches your eye, peace and harmony are on their way. Your path is being cleared for a life of balance and joy. 777. If this resonates with you, Divine guidance is leading you towards a miracle. Expect a wave of luck and spiritual growth. 888. If you read this, infinite wealth and abundance are aligning in your favor. Success and prosperity are your new normal. 999. If this appears to you, a cycle is completing in your life. Get ready for a fresh start filled with new opportunities and love. 1111. If this number calls to you, your thoughts are manifesting rapidly. Keep a positive mindset and watch your desires unfold. 2222. If this catches your attention, balance and peace are entering your world. Your hard work is paying off, and harmony is yours. 3333. If you see this, powerful changes are coming. Embrace them with confidence as they lead you to a life of abundance and joy. 1212. If this number stands out, trust that the universe is aligning in your favor. Major blessings and breakthroughs are imminent. 1010. If this resonates with you, Stay positive and patient. New doors are opening that will lead to unprecedented success and fulfillment. 1313. If this catches your eye, your steps are divinely guided. Trust the process, as prosperity and happiness are on the horizon. 2020. If you read this, Clarity and focus are coming your way. Your vision for the future is becoming a beautiful reality. 3030. If this number appears, significant growth is ahead. Embrace the changes and enjoy the fruits of your labor. 4040. If you see this, a foundation of stability and security is being laid. Prepare for a period of consistent progress and abundance. 5050. If this resonates with you, exciting changes are on the way. Be ready to seize new opportunities and enjoy newfound prosperity. 6060. If this catches your eye, your intuition is guiding you to success. Trust your inner voice and expect a flow of blessings and love. Unwavering faithfulness. God never lets us down. Introduction. In the journey of life, we inevitably encounter moments when people let us down. Friends may betray us, loved ones might disappoint, and even those we trust the most can fail to meet our expectations. This reality could be disheartening and painful, leading to feelings of loneliness and abandonment. However, there is one constant. One unshakable foundation we can always rely on, God. Unlike humans, God's love and faithfulness are steadfaster and unchanging. This message delves into the profound assurance that while people may falter, God never will. The human condition, why people let us down. Understanding why people let us down is crucial to appreciating the depth of God's faithfulness. Human beings are inherently flawed. We are imperfect, subject to weaknesses, limitations, and failures. Even with the best intentions, we sometimes hurt those we care about and fail to meet expectations. This is not necessarily due to malice but often because of our human frailty. Limitations of human nature We are finite creatures with limited understanding and capacity. Our ability to support and care for others is often constrained by our own struggles and circumstances. Unpredictable circumstances Life is unpredictable. People face unforeseen challenges such as illness, financial difficulties, 
or personal crises that can prevent them from fulfilling their promises. Emotional and psychological barriers Personal insecurities, fears, and emotional wounds can hinder our ability to be there for others consistently. Self-centered tendencies at times. Our own desires and needs can take precedence over the needs of others, leading to unintentional neglect or disappointment. Recognizing these aspects of human nature helps us to have compassion for ourselves and others. It also highlights the profound difference between human relationships and our relationship with God. The steadfastness of God, in contrast to human fallibility, God's nature is perfect and His love unfailing. The Bible is replete with assurances of God's steadfast love and faithfulness. Let's explore some of these divine attributes. God's unchanging nature. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. God's nature is immutable. Unlike humans who change and evolve, God's character remains constant. This means His love. Mercy, and faithfulness are not subject to the whims of time or circumstance. We can trust that the same God who was faithful to Abraham, Moses, and David is faithful to us today. God's Omnipotence Ah, Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. God's omnipotence ensures that he has the power to fulfill his promises. Unlike humans, whose capabilities are limited, God's power is boundless. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. God's omnipresence. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there if I make my bed in the depths. You are there. God's omnipresence assures us that he is always with us. There is no place or situation where we are outside of his reach. This divine presence means we are never alone, even in our darkest moments. God's omniscience. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. God's omniscience means he knows everything about us. Say our thoughts, fears and needs. He understands our circumstances better than we do and is perfectly positioned to guide and support us. Biblical Examples of God's Faithfulness The Bible provides numerous examples of God's unwavering faithfulness. These stories serve as powerful reminders that God never lets his people down. Dot Abraham and Sarah Abraham and Sarah waited for decades for the fulfillment of God's promise of a son. Despite their old age and the apparent impossibility of the situation, God remained faithful. Isaac's birth was a testament to God's promise-keeping nature. Joseph Joseph's life was marked by betrayal, false accusations, and imprisonment. Despite these trials, God's presence and favor were evident throughout his journey. Joseph's rise to power in Egypt and his ability to save his family from famine highlighted God's faithful plan. The Israelites The Israelites' exodus from Egypt and journey to the promised land were filled with challenges. Yet, God's faithfulness was unwavering. He provided manna from heaven, water from a rock, and guided them with the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night David. David's life was a roller coaster of triumphs and tribulations. From defeating Goliath to fleeing from Saul, David experienced God's steadfast love and faithfulness. God's covenant with David ensured that his lineage would continue and ultimately lead to the birth of Jesus Christ. God's faithfulness in our lives just as God was faithful to the biblical figures. He remains faithful to us today. This divine faithfulness manifests in various ways in our daily lives. 
provision, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. God provides for our physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. This provision may not always come in the ways we expect, but it is always sufficient. Guidance Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. God's guidance is a testament to his faithfulness. He directs our steps, offering wisdom and clarity when we seek his will. Comfort Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. God's comfort is a profound expression of His love. In times of sorrow and distress, His presence provides peace and solace, forgiveness. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. God's faithfulness is evident in his willingness to forgive. No matter how many times we fall, his grace is always available to us to bore us. Living in the assurance of God's faithfulness. Understanding God's faithfulness transforms our lives. It gives us confidence to face challenges strength to endure trials, and hope for the future. Here are practical ways to live in the assurance of God's faithfulness. Trust in His promises. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come to repentance. God's promises are true and trustworthy. By holding on to those promises, we anchor our lives in His faithfulness. Cultivate relationship with God. Draw nearer to God and He will draw near to you. A close relationship with God strengthens our faith and deepens our understanding of His character. Through prayer, worship, and studying His Word, we experience his presence and faithfulness more intimately. Share your testimony. They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Sharing our experiences of God's faithfulness encourages others and strengthens our own faith. Testimonies are powerful reminders of God's work in our lives. Live with gratitude. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude shifts our focus from our problems to God's goodness. By regularly expressing thanks, we cultivate a heart that recognizes and appreciates God's faithfulness. Serve others. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Serving others is a reflection of God's love. When we serve, we become conduits of His faithfulness, showing others the love and reliability of God. Conclusion People will inevitably let us down, but God's faithfulness is unwavering. His unchanging nature, omnipotence, omnipresence, and omniscience assure us that he is always reliable. The biblical accounts of his faithfulness and the evidence of his work in our lives today reinforce this truth. Living in the assurance of God's faithfulness transforms our perspective, giving us hope, confidence, and strength. By trusting in his promises, cultivating a close relationship with him, sharing our testimonies, living with gratitude, God's appointed time, trusting in divine timing. Introduction Life is a journey filled with uncertainties, and often we find ourselves questioning the timing of events. 
Why do certain things happen at specific times? Why do our prayers seem unanswered for so long? Understanding and trusting in God's appointed time can provide us with the peace and patience we need. This message delves into the concept of divine timing, encouraging faith and trust in God's perfect plan. The concept of God's appointed time. Divine timing in scripture throughout the Bible, we see numerous references to God's perfect timing, states, to everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. This verse reminds us that every event in our lives happens according to God's divine schedule. Examples of divine timing Consider the story of Abraham and Sarah. God promised them a child. But they waited 25 years before Isaac was born. Genesis similarly, Joseph's journey from slavery to becoming a ruler in Egypt took many years. These stories illustrate that while the wait might be long, God's timing is always perfect. Learning to wait. Patience as a virtue in our fast-paced world, waiting can be incredibly challenging. However, Patience is a virtue often emphasized in the Bible, encourages us to be patient, then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming, see how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. Developing patience Patience is not just about waiting but how we wait. It involves trusting God's timing and believing that He knows what is best for us. Advises, wait for the Lord be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Cultivating patience means finding peace and strength in the wait. Trusting in God's plan. Dot surrendering control One of the hardest things to do is to surrender control of our lives to God. Us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Trusting God means believing that his plans are better than ours. Faith in action Faith is not just a passive state of waiting but an active process. Defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Our faith should manifest in our daily actions, showing trust in God's timing through our obedience and reliance on Him. Overcoming doubt and fear. Confronting doubts Doubt is a natural part of the human experience, but it should not dominate our faith. In, a man asks Jesus to heal his son and says, I do believe help me overcome my unbelief. This honest plea shows that while doubt exists, our faith can prevail. Overcoming fear often arises when we cannot see the future. Reassures us, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Trusting in God's presence helps us overcome fear. The rewards of trusting God's timing. Peace of mind when we trust in God's timing, we find peace. Encourages us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Fulfilled promises God's promises are always fulfilled, though not always in the ways we expect, Romans assures us, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him who have been called according to his purpose. Trusting in his timing leads to the fulfillment of his promises in our lives. Practical steps to trust in God's timing. Pray consistently regular prayer keeps us connected to God. Emphasizes the importance of prayer and finding peace. Speak to God about your concerns, your desires, 
and your struggles with waiting. Prayer strengthens our relationship with Him and our trust in His timing. Study Scripture The Bible is filled with examples and teachings about God's timing. By studying Scripture, we gain insights and encouragement to trust in His plans. Tells us, for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide we might have hope. Fellowship with Believers Surrounding ourselves with the community of faith helps us stay strong in our beliefs. Encourages us to consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Reflect on past experiences reflect on times when God's timing was evident in your life. Remembering His faithfulness in the past can bolster your faith in the present and future. Psalm says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord yes. I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Conclusion Trusting in God's appointed time requires faith, patience, and a willingness to surrender our own understanding. It's about recognizing that God's ways are higher than ours and that He has a plan for each of us. By embracing His timing, we find peace fulfillment, and a deeper relationship with Him. Remember, the Lord is good to those whose help is in Him, to the one who seeks Him so. Let us wait on the Lord with hopeful hearts, trusting in His perfect timing, in God's sovereignty. Don't worry, God is in control. Introduction Life's journey is fraught with uncertainties and challenges. We often find ourselves overwhelmed with worry and doubt, questioning whether we can navigate the storms we face. However, a profound truth remains constant. God is in control. This assurance can transform our perspective offering peace and strength amidst turmoil. This message explores the biblical foundation for trusting God's sovereignty and provides practical steps to live with confidence in His control. The Sovereignty of God Understanding God's Sovereignty God's sovereignty means that He is supreme, reigning over all creation with ultimate authority, declares, I am God and there is no other, I am God, and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. This passage emphasizes that God's plans are unchangeable and His power unrivaled. Biblical Examples of God's Control The Bible is replete with stories demonstrating God's control over circumstances. Joseph's journey sold into slavery by his brothers, Joseph endured years of hardship. Yet, he rose to power in Egypt and saved his family during a famine. Reflecting on his journey, Joseph told his brothers, You intended to harm me but God intended it for good. This story exemplifies how God can turn our suffering into purpose. Jesus calms the storm Jesus calms a violent storm, demonstrating his authority over nature. His disciples, initially terrified, were left in awe, saying, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. This miracle reassures us that even in life's storms, Jesus has the power to bring peace.